But UNLV's president breaks his silence doing his first interview with the I-team after a fraternity boxing match resulted in a student's death. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. It is a story the I-team first broke one week ago. Vanessa Murphy tells us what UNLV leaders are now saying and how the university is handling this tragedy. UNLV President Keith Whitfield says a review is underway about the fraternity boxing match. What the I-team has been working to find out is what knowledge the university had before the event was held. What oversight did the university have and who, what leaders at the university did know this was going to happen? Yeah, that's one of the questions that we're asking in this fact-finding. Uh, let's not call it an investigation, it's a review of our procedures that we want to go through, uh, not only for this group, but for all programs on our campus. Nathan Valencia, a 20-year-old UNLV junior, participated in this fraternity boxing match for charity on November 19th. He collapsed after the fight and died four days later from head injuries. Weigh-in was held on campus for the boxers, and the event held by the Kappa Sigma fraternity took place off campus. Is there someone at UNLV who oversees fraternities? Uh, fraternities? Um, that falls under our student affairs, and there are advisors that are connected with each one of the fraternities, and uh, there's other work uh, as well. That, that's done by other people in that division. Valencia's parents say there was a lack of safety precautions. They say the referee wasn't a professional ref. The I-team obtained this video showing him drinking what appears to be alcohol and frequently looking at the judge's table. Witnesses tell the I-team no paramedics were on standby. The Valencia family also points out this was a UNLV tradition. Should this event have been held in the first place, weigh-in was held on campus, and should it ever be held again? You know, we're going to make that decision after we've gone through all of this because um, one of the things that we try to do is to actually support and promote students having activities and doing things. We also spoke with Chancellor Melody Rose. She heads Nevada's system of higher education and says responsibility falls on UNLV rather than her office. The president's office oversees student affairs, student activities, student athletics, and we do have a role in policy making. And I think when we are beyond this conversation and results of an investigation come through, I think at that point you, you could see a policy conversation at the Board of Regents. Did you personally know that these events had happened in years past and did you know this one was going to be held? No, I was not aware uh, of the history of this event nor was I aware that this particular event was scheduled. As the leader of this university, who do you think should be held accountable? Well, you know, it's premature to say exactly who we uh, want to, to, to start pointing fingers on about accountability, we're going to do a very, very thorough process and we're going to make sure that we identify all the parts and pieces of how this played out. At this point, it is unknown when that review may be finished. Reporting in Las Vegas, Vanessa Murphy, live, local, now.